Well, when I went in, I said, uh, and they said, <laughs> uh, but they didn't seem very surprised that I speak a little bit of Mandarin. Are you having trouble bringing in new customers? What if you could send a targeted ad to the smartphones of your competitors' customers? I know I'd sure like to do that to some of the prostitute media. Check with Liberty activist Colin James over at BoohooHooYonDigital.com See what they can do for you along these lines. BoohooHooYonDigital.com This nice note appeared at the Kulix Market in Winchester, New Hampshire. I think I will probably reach out uh, to the writer. I was able to put this up pretty easily around town, uh, this time at a Chinese restaurant. Better give them some, better give them some free advertising to thank them. But when I went in, I said, uh, and they said, we <laughs> uh, But they didn't seem very surprised that I speak a little bit of Mandarin. And uh, they, uh, I said, you might want to look at this a little bit closer. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, um, before you say yes, uh, I said, it could be a little bit controversial. And they said, ah, it doesn't matter, just put it up. <laughs> so that was great. And I said, uh, which means thank you for your help, I think. I asked them if I was, I said, you know, I, I'm trying, I was trying to ask them if I am speaking correctly. They didn't really answer me quite exactly, so uh, part of that was probably not spoken correctly. I, I kind of bought the wrong tape, or, you know, I started using the wrong tape when I, when I tried to learn. I'm putting up one that's uh, more in your face, easier to see, but maybe less likely to be approved by stores. On, on telephone poles in Winchester. I'd like to put one over at uh, City Hall, but I, I kind of forgot to bring scotch tape. I don't know if there'd be anywhere I could put it. I believe Win Winchester has already had its first uh, anti-police brutality protest. It looked like there was one on the front cover of the Keen Sentinel, but it didn't look very close. Of course, I, like any good anti-aggressionist, support such protests. But, of course, not the, not the chaos that comes along when opportunists, opportunists, who are not necessarily protesters, get involved. Looter, opportun looter opportunists. Some people that I showed it to didn't seem to understand what it meant, so maybe I need to improve my clarity. It's not really time yet in Winchester to be standing on top of stores with rifles, but uh, it is probably time to do this. And maybe later it will be time to stand on top of stores with rifles. Sound of freedom and peace. Peaceful, evenly paced gunfire. Some folks in Winchester are doing something that I really appreciate. Uh, it looks like about a, a half acre farm. We're now at the 2.5 month mark since I started publishing my local neighborhood or in a neighborhood newspaper I guess this yeah fifth edition the stone soup trading post that I showed you uh, a few months ago as it was just getting started has continued to stay in operation about two days out of three you know between uh, Mar March 15th and, and today June 2nd and oh look today Somebody left a new donation. That is very nice. 
but I uh, I never got around to making the uh, the like full blown trading post that I had sort of planned. Maybe just because the shortages never became severe enough and. Too many stores were open to bother with that, and it also was a lot of trouble the one or two days that I tried doing that. But it's an option, if needed. As I was out there setting up more signs, some more free staters dropped by the house. Free staters are people who move to New Hampshire for more freedom. They usually have guns. <laughs> so we're getting even safer by the hour. Oh, oh, oh,